Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, we are going to be saying goodbye to the MiWi channel that we had on the system, and we're going to walk through precisely why. So what ended up happening as a brief overview is the other day I went in to log in. Of course, I log in, and I'm using these as pages um, to... Uh, using these here as pages just to post when I do a video, so it's not like I sit around here and do much engagement. But then I logged in yesterday, and it's like, oh, you have 13 days left on your trial. Subscribe now, and they want all my payment information. So apparently what it ended up happening is MeWe came down, and they just announced that, hey, we're out of beta, so we're just going to start charging for a lot of things, which included pages. Now, I was never been pleased with MeWe. Um, it's like Facebook. You have to attach a personal account and then you can create a page from there. Now, the thing is, is that when I create these accounts, I went through and I read the terms of service. I read all the pages. There was nothing in here about ever charging for these pages. But now all of a sudden, as of, uh, as of now, if you head on over to their main page and you head on over to their FAQs, we come down here and it says, how can we... Uh, how can MeWe be free and make money? And then this paragraph down here showed up. There are optional features including extra storage, live video voice, custom emojis, custom stickers, MeWe pages, $1.99 a month. So I'm like, well, when did this occur? Because I never remember going back and looking at this. So of course you go back into the Wayback Machine and what I find very interesting is we go into the Wayback Machine and there's something weird in the code of their site that when you are on the Wayback Machine, their pages don't actually load. So I can't verify what was on the site for any period of time. So it is done loading and we get nothing but a blank page. So I went back and it turns out that you have to go back into 2016 to get any page on MeWe where it actually will load and archive. So something they've been doing for the last couple of years prevents the Internet Archive from looking at the site and verifying what it is. Come back over to here and we'll go back. So like I know the February 2nd, 2016 uh, I know that this one is live, so let's go ahead and click on this. So when you go back into, let me, there we go, let's go with the 8th. There we are. So when you click into a page on the Internet Archive, we'll be able to see what the Internet looked like at that particular point in time. So I went down to the bottom here to look at our FAQ pages. And when we come down here and look at our FAQ pages... Um, we have down here, of course, that one paragraph. So comparing the two pages, this paragraph has now jumped in. They also have uh, a couple other ones here jumped in as well. Now, I'm not completely opposed to them charging for pages. I just have to ask, is it worth it or not? Is it worth the business expense of paying money for a page? Am I going to go out and use a personal MeWe page to post all the videos? No, I'm not. Um, that's what the pages were for. And when I first signed up, there was no indication that they were going to charge for pages that I could see. So I ended up putting in a support request, asking them about it. And they actually just emailed me back not long ago, just a little bit. Um, actually at 5.30 today. And it just says, MeWe is a freemium platform. The platform is free. However, some features do require subscriptions, which can be purchased on our MeWe store. Let me know if you have any additional questions or concerns. And so the problem that I'm having here is I can't verify what was on your site. And I am pretty certain that I never saw any indication as to what would actually be available here or not. And for the last three years, I cannot go back into the Wayback Machine and verify what was on their website versus what was not on their website. So because of these issues and the fact that I don't particularly see a lot of use coming out, so um, they don't actually give me, let's see, can I see some statistics as to what doing? So I, I have like on the XFCE, I had two likes on that post. I had one like on this post. 
You know, I had one emoji on another previous news post five days ago. I don't actually have any information as to how well these are doing. There's really no statistics at all. Let me go back and show you guys the view here we're looking at. There's no statistics at all. There's nothing that indicates how well an individual post happens to be doing. Um, it's just, it's a cheap generic Facebook that now they want to charge money for. The fact of the matter is I have numerous other platforms. So, you know, I do have the Twitter. I do have the Mastodon, which is switched to Linux at Fostodon. Um, and I do have the Mines. I have the Reddit page. I have the Gab page. I have the Twitter page. Now, the Twitter and the Reddit, you can view those anytime. You can just bookmark those and never have to create an account. The Reddit is r slash switch to Linux. So you can go on over there if you want to see the updates. But as for this, I don't see any reason to keep MeWe around. I don't see that it's worth $2 a month. I have no problem with them trying to make some money on these types of features. But the fact of the matter is, like I said, I have seen no indication they're going to start charging for this. And all of a sudden, they gave me a pop-up saying you have 14 days left on your trial. Subscribe now. So, sorry, MeWe. I'm not going to subscribe. Um, I have no more interest in using your platform because I don't find your platform is actually worth putting any money into. Um, I just look at it as a knockoff Facebook. Now, as far as everything else on there, do I have any, you know, any issues like, oh, are they a big privacy issue? No, I don't specifically see anything like that. Um, I don't, uh, I don't have any indication that, that, uh, there have some weird background CD agenda or whatever else. I just find that they did not do this part with integrity and I cannot go back into the Internet Archive and verify what was there. So bye bye MeWe um, within about uh, I'll start posting on there um, each day for the next couple of days and then probably in about seven to ten days right before the trial ends. We're just going to go ahead and delete everything over there and all my accounts. So you can follow me on the other places. I'm on Gab. I'm on Twitter, Mines, Fostodon or Reddit. And um, if you know of other ones I should look into, I'd be glad to look into other ones as well. But um, that's, that's what I have to say. So it was a fun run, but sorry you're not worth putting, putting uh, money into. Sorry if uh, that was the only place you like to be, but that's kind of the way it is. They had to make the business decision, so did I, and I just found it wasn't worth putting any money into. So um, that's my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below.